emerging. In the same connection of pollination, uh, we have studied uh, different types of pollination on the basis of source of pollen grains and secondly on the basis of pollinating agent. In this class, we will discuss the characteristic of flowers which are pollinated by either wind or water or other animals. So first of all, we will study about the characteristic of flowers which are pollinated by wind. So the flowers which are pollinated by wind, their anthers should be exposed so that the wind can blow the pollen grains from it. So anther must be exposed. This is the first characteristic. If the anther will be exposed, the strong wind will come and blow the pollen grains from anther and deposit it on the stick. Second thing, such flowers, the pollen grains should be light enough. Pollen grains must be light. If they will be heavy, how they will be carried along with the wind? So they, their weight should be very very less so that they can be easily carried with the help of wind and can be deposited from one anther to the stigma. Secondly, third, the stigma should be feathery. If the stigma will be feathery, so whatever anther grains, anther or pollen grains will be flowing up above, above it, it may collect it with the help of its feather. So stigma should be feathery to collect more and more pollen grains uh, flowing in the wind or uh, along with the blowing wind. So that the stigma should be feathery. This is the third characteristic. And the fourth characteristic that pollen grains should be non-sticky, should not be sticky. If the pollen grains will be sticky, it will be difficult for the wind to blow them from their anther to the stigma because they will stick to the anther itself. So the fourth and the most important characteristic, it is also one of the important characteristic that the pollen grain should be non-sticky. It must be non-sticky. And the fifth characteristic, such flowers may not be colorful because they don't have to uh, provide regard to someone or to attract someone. Wind should not be attracted. It is, it is an abiotic agent. It does not see the color of the flower. It does not see. It. So that's why the flower may not be colorful. Flower may not be conspicuous. The flower should not have any fragrance. May or may not have any fragrance. fragrance ki kya hai? There is no need of fragrance. Because frag the wind is not going to smell it. And it is not being attracted by the fragrance of the flower. So if the wind is blowing, it must blow. So it may not have fragrance. It may not have nectar also. Because nectar is also a reward. Just to attract the insects again and again to visit the flower. And so such flowers, since they are pollinated by the abiotic agent like wind, they may not have nectar. So this is all about the characteristic of wind pollinated flower. Now we will study about the characteristic of a water pollinated flower. Along with these two characteristics, that pollen grain should not be sticky. This one is also there. This one should also be there in the water pollinated flower. The second thing, flowers should not be, may or may not be colorful. Waha bhi color ki jarurat nahi because water is also an abiotic agent. So it is not going to visualize the color of the flower. It has nothing to do with the color of the flower. So water pollinated flowers may or may not be colorful. They may or may not have fragrance because fragrance is, has nothing to do in the case of when the pollinating agent is water. So they may or may not have nectar also because to attract uh, it is nectar as I told you earlier. It is a characteristic, it is a characteristic given to the flower just to attract the insects or other pollinating agents so that they can visit again and again to the flower. So and the other two characteristics which are other than this wind pollinated flower are first thing the pollen grain should be ribbon like so that they can bear the stress of water current and flow with the water current without breaking. So pollen grain should be ribbon like. Secondly, the pollen grains should be covered with mucilaginous material. If they will be covered with mucilaginous material, they will be protected from getting wet and distorted. 
so in order to prevent their distortion they must be covered with mucilage so these are the two main characteristic which should be there in the water pollinated flowers along with these two characteristic fourth and fifth one and now we will study about the characteristic of animal pollinated or uh, the flowers pollinated by biotic agent such flowers must be colorful color is a must for them because the animals are attracted only to those flowers which are colorful they attract because of their color they attract those animals towards them and when they visit them automatically the pollen grains transfer along with them so they must be colorful second thing even if they are colorful and they are small they are not visible then what will be the case so such flowers must be large enough and conspicuous large enough and conspicuous even if the flowers are small they must be arranged in the inflorescences in, in large numbers so that it will become large and conspicuous and so the flowers must be large and conspicuous and they have fragrance you might have seen the flowers pollinated by bees or uh, uh, you can say flies and other moths they give a foul odor so as to attract those flies those moths similarly the flowers have very good some flowers have very good fragrance so that to attract the bees on them because of that fragrance those bees are attracted so they must have fragrance and these fragrance help in attracting that pollinating agents those pollinating agents the fourth and most important characteristic such flowers must be uh, must have sticky pollen grains sticky if the pollen grains will be sticky when the pollinating agent will sit over the flower they will get sticked with the body parts of those pollinating agents and when the perch on another flower for example if the bird has perched on one flower if the pollen grain is sticky it will stick to its feathers or it other body parts and when it will sit on another flower it will get deposited on the stigma of that flower it this all these phenomenon is done done unwillingly it is not knowing the in the pollinating agent is not doing that it is going to pollinate the flower but unknowingly it is doing this good thing so all these things for this they must have such characters like colorful flowers conspicuous flowers fragrance in them nectar in them and it must be sticky so all these all these characteristic will be there then such flowers will be easily pollinated by the animals thank you and